everybody, I'm Chloe, and I am going to talk to you today about the idolatry of Solomon painting. Let me introduce you to our artist. His name was Franz Franken II, or often referred to Franz Franken the Younger. Franz was Flemish and was born in 1581 and died in 1642. Franz painted this painting in 1622. This painting was an oil painting. Let's go take a look at it. In this painting, it shows Solomon bowing down to idols. We see one of his wives pointing to the idol and telling him to bow down to it. Solomon used to be a faithful man to God till he intermarried with many women who God specifically said not to intermarry with. Because of his disobedience to God, Solomon fell and worshipped other idols. At the right of this painting, there are many women. I believe these are the concubines and wives of Solomon. I think... Franz put these women in the painting to show that Solomon had many wives who had a big influence on his religious belief. I think that the men on the left side of the painting are prophets and officials, such as the prophet of Shiloh, Ahijah, and the official Jeroboam. I know that they are these men in the painting because they have fancy clothes and pieces as an official or prophet would. These men disliked Solomon's actions. I believe that their posture and the way they stand is very important. For the way these men in this painting stand shows that they are irritated of what Solomon is doing and that they disapprove of his actions. I believe that this building is the Temple of Jerusalem, which is under construction. I believe that Franz put this temple in the painting to show that Solomon was once a faithful man. Let me tell you a little bit more about our artist. Franken was a native of Antwerp in Belgium, in the area known as Flanders. A long tradition of excellence and Antwerp was one of the centers of art. It was also a place of religious conflict during the Reformation. When Franken was four years old, the city fell to a Spanish army that was punishing the city for destroying images in the churches. My opinion is that the background of Franz is very important to understand this painting because if you look very closely at the clothing of the people in this painting, it does not seem like it would be of Solomon's time, but maybe it could be of Franz's time. So maybe he incorporated his time into this painting. As you could see that the men are disgusted about Solomon's religious choices, just as the Spaniards were disgusted about the religious choices of the this Flemish. This is my presentation on the adultery of Solomon. Thank you for listening. Bye.